In this video, I'll be showing how to make a paper crossbow out of only the material shown here. The first thing we're going to do is make our bow arms. To start doing that, I'm going to take four sheets of paper and fold them in half very carefully lengthwise. Now I'm going to unfold these sheets of paper and we are going to cut along this seam. Now I'm going to take these four strips that I've just created and roll them very tightly around a pencil. This tube should now be taped so that it will not unroll. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to these other four sheets. The easiest way to start the roll of paper is to take an extra wide flap like that and fold it down underneath the pencil. And the rolls start much easier that way. Now the next thing we're going to do is measure one and a half inches off of each end of one of our popsicle sticks and then put a mark. At this point we will also put a mark one and a half inches in on one end of both of our tubes. Our popsicle stick should now be taken and inserted up to the first mark into one of our tubes on the side with the mark that we've put in the tube also. When it's right there, I'm going to go ahead and break it off and use the other end to go into our other tube. Now the other two popsicle sticks that I have can be inserted into the opposite ends of the tubes from where we just inserted the first popsicle stick. I also am going to insert them 90 degrees from what the first popsicle stick was inserted at. Now the last thing we need to do to these arms before we bend them is to give them some support so they're not going to tear. To do that, I'm going to take three strips of tape and lay them out lengthwise just on either end of where I made this mark, about that far. And here is my third. Now with those three strips added, I'm going to put a few parallel wraps of tape around just to secure them. And that's it. This arm is ready. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process on the second arm. These arms are now ready to be bent just past this mark and you can now test them to see how much spring you're going to get out of them. I don't like how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and add another strip of tape around there. It's now time to roll the main body of the crossbow. That's this paper tube that goes along right here. 
For this, I'm going to take five sheets of paper, line them up very straight, and roll them around our pencil. Again, it's going to be much easier to roll the paper if you place the pencil somewhere about in there, lay a flap of the paper over it, and then fold that flap underneath to start the roll. I'll now just tape this tube in several places so that it won't unroll. Now we can go ahead and attach the bow arms to this tube. To start that, what I'm going to do is just pinch the end of this long tube slightly. Now on either side of this, we can go ahead and tape our arms on just like that. It's going to be easiest to start with one arm and then align the other. It's going to be important that these are held on tightly and with a lot of tape. Now what I'm going to do is take a length of very strong twine and tie a bowline knot into one end. There are many tutorials online about how to tie bowline knots, so I'm not going to go into detail about that here. I will then take the bowline knot and pass the end of the string through it to create a slip knot. Now this knot I'm now going to place over the end of one side of our bow arm. I'll go ahead and tighten that down. Now this should be taped in place so it does not slide around. Now I'm going to pull the string tight to the end of the other arm and cut it off just an inch or so past. I'll now also tie a bowline into the end of this side of the line and put it over the other arm. At this point we're going to need to tighten the arms in order to slip this over the end. I can now also tape the knot down on this arm. Now the next thing I'm going to need to do is to pull this line back until it about makes the shape of a square with the arms, somewhere about right in there. I'll now put a mark with our pencil into this tube. Now with a sharp object such as this, I'm going to poke a hole through the top of this tube right about where the mark is at and continue right through the bottom of the tube. Be extremely careful not to cut yourself as you poke through the tube. Now the hole I've made into the bottom of this tube I need to widen out just a little bit this way. I'll go ahead and bring this hole about to here. Now you can see how I've poked all the way through and this hole on the bottom is now widened out enough that I can get a little bit of movement. Now what I'm going to do is take the end of a popsicle stick and split it just about down the middle. I'll go ahead and do that with a pair of scissors. Now this is going to be our trigger. What I'm going to do is insert it through this hole just like that. Now what we're left with is this right here. Now to test this out before we go any further we can go ahead and pull this bowstring back and put it right onto the end of our trigger there. You can see it holds it quite nicely. Alright, so the only thing we have left to do to this crossbow is to add the little support rails on the sides here that are going to support our arrow and the little tube up front that are going to hold it. So what I'm going to do is take a single sheet of paper and again just fold it in half down the middle. I will now again go ahead and cut right down this fold. Now each of these strips of paper I'm going to roll around our pencil and those are going to create our rails. I'll go ahead and take a piece of tape to hold this tube together. Now these two tubes can be flattened out all the way down the length. And I'm just going to tape them from back here behind the trigger so that they sit just about 
like that right there. All right, I've got my rear guides installed. Now all I need to do is roll a narrow strip of paper to make a tube which the front end of the pencils are going to sit in. Now before I tape this tube closed, I'm going to let it expand slightly so that our pencils are sure to float freely in there. Now I'll go ahead and tape this shut. This small tube can now be mounted to the front of the crossbow, right about in there. Now with both the front and rear guards installed, all you need to do is find a pencil, remove the eraser, the metal part, because that will get caught on the front guide. Then all you need to do is cock your crossbow, put it right back onto that trigger there, put your pencil into the front sight, and put it right on those rear guards just like that, and it's ready to fire.